there was a video that we are about to show you that turns out to be 100% real yep. at a fishing tournament a few weeks back in Ohio that involves a $28,000 prize for the winner and now a lawsuit and a trial, uh, a, a real trial oh, yeah. that, it, that these two have pled not guilty to that could result in jail time, fines, and maybe an ass beating. Maybe even the death penalty. I don't know if the death penalty Probably is being should be the death penalty. They're throwing Possibly. it out there. Watch the video. You can tell us if you think the people that are surrounding the camera think the death penalty should be brought in. But this is a real video. I thought it was fake. We should have talked about this long ago. We should have been in front of this. But to be honest, I thought it was fake. Seemed too good to be true. Mm -hmm. It's real. Here's from a fishy tournament. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fishy yep. tournament. Not quite the Bassmaster Classic, but probably a, a lower, you know, tournament on the uh, the Bass Fishing Pro yeah. Tour. Regional. I just got choked up. Yeah, <laughs> because it's this sad. is real. It's sad. What you're about to watch is real, AJ. This comes from your state. This <laughs> is. I've I've seen it. If this is what I think it is, that's absolutely. I never questioned it. Well, it looks like should. it's out of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Run the clip of what happened after a fishing tournament ended. And the people that are going to have their back to the cameras standing in front of the bin had just been announced the winners of a fishing tournament in $28,000. Listen to. You lost all these fucking years. You lost a piece of shit. 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 This, this is real. Yep. Scumbag. Lock him up. Lock him up. Fall the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. He needs to be persecuted. I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. He needs to go to jail. Jason. We'll leave. You still gonna eat these things? Look at this! Look at this! Oh, oh you got no! Shit, but there's others already in the bin. Yeah. There's yeah. two other fish is worth. There's consequences, man. Listen to the crowd, AJ. What the fuck? They're holding them accountable. You're the fucking champ. I didn't get him in there without cutting him off. Shut him down his throat. Yeah. A filet fish. The guy who said, we don't want anybody to hit him. Cutting a promo now. A walleye filet. What the fuck's this doing in here? There's a McDonald's filet fish in his stomach. Oh, there's that face. You got anything to say? The sponsors are gonna fall off. Yeah. Another fillet. <laughs> Take pictures. Yeah, you need pictures. Oh, we got pictures. Yeah, got video. <laughs> yeah. I videoed it right off the rip. Just making sure. Hold on, let me take pictures. You fucked over a lot of people, man. Man. What the fuck was that? Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, that guy's not at. Uh uh. To say the least. You were the champ. Peace. You talk all that shit to me. Uh, this they police doing? their own, man. It's what a coach talks about. He wants, you, he wants you to police the locker room. That's what they're doing here. Dude, I watched that video the first time. <laughs> has to be, has to be a bit, has yeah. to be a movie. Can't be real. The amount of movie like fuck this guy yeah. that was out there mm -hmm. is just absurd. You have anything to say for the your Ohio State champion? Hmm. Uh, that it was obviously. Oh, he's not the champion. No, they're not the champion. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know how they they plead not guilty with, with all of this. I guess, but this is exactly what should happen. The, the other competitors should hold them accountable, and that's what's happened. Like there's, you can say and do whatever you want, but there are consequences for your actions. And here we go. So, I guess this particular fisherman tandem has won a lot in the past, mm -hmm. and I don't think they'll ever be able to do an actual court or research investigation on those because those fish are gone oh yeah long gone ate them they can only do it on this one so it'll only be twenty eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars in prizes that i feel like all those other fishermen who i bet some of them no, nowhere near what hey hey your fish ain't nowhere with or without the weight there's probably a couple fishermen that in there <laughs> but there's probably 10 to 15 i don't know however many else that are like 
any given fucking pond or river or Close. creek, whatever we're fishing, we could won this and all this money that these guys have just been. They took a walleye fillet and just fucking shoved it in the side of a fish. Hey, Darius, you asked this question. How were they doing? So they were just holding the mouth open and just dropping yep. it in the mouth? Plopping them right in there. Yep. Jeez. Is there no eyes on this? And I assume there's been a lot of fishermen in a lot of these tournaments, probably a lot of these Ohio fucks, who are very competitive people from Ohio. Ohio fuck is a compliment, please. Ohio folk, I should say. These Ohio folk, I think a natural maybe reaction from an Ohio competitive person is, oh, man, could definitely. I'm sure there's been every fisherman that's professional has thought to themselves, could easily drop a weight in here. Like, and don't put do it. Put some rocks in here. Hey, jam some rocks in this dude's mouth before yeah. you put him in the cooler. Yeah, I'm sure it's been thought about and talked about before. The fact that they were just doing it with, like, actual weights. <laughs> <enough. laughs> what else we got? That motherfucker. Look. They're driving by other people's boats looking at their fish somehow. I don't know if they're <laughs> underneath. They're like, he's got a fucking big one in there. Big. <laughs> Give me the goddamn wall. Hey. <laughs> yeah, five-pounder. <laughs> Let's start cutting it up. I mean, that is... I mean, when there's big, mo big money prizes on it, you can understand why people are so pissed. Yeah. yeah. The old saying is, it's not a little. we chat about it a lot. It's like millions of bucks, I think, over, you know, an of entire... Of course, like, yeah, five years or so. They but, won millions? Uh, that, that, that I don't know if they've won millions, but I think that's what the prize pool could potentially be. One of the reports said that, yeah, these guys have been doing this for years, and it could, yeah, like, the, the money they've won could be, you know, amongst the two of them, like, over a million dollars. Still have to catch big fish, but mm -hmm. then when they catch big fish, they're able to rig them a bit. The tournament's director previously told CNN he was immediately suspicious when the team's fish weighed about twice what he expected at the Cleveland <laughs> Championship. The moment when the director discovered the alleged cheating was documented in several now viral videos which showed him slicing open the fish with a knife and pulling out what he said was a lead ball. For the felonies, Runyon and Kaminsky, two Ohio folk, face up to 12 months in prison and up to $2,500 in fines if convicted. According to a news release, 2500 bucks a year in jail if they've won millions of dollars from doing this, and the men face up to 30 days in jail and $250 in fines if convicted of the misdemeanor charge. Both men posted their $2,500 bond from the money that they won with the weighted fish yep. and have been released. Their next court appearance is scheduled to be the morning of November. It should have just time. been size 72 font that said worth it. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. it? Yep. <laughs> Okay. Hey, they'll never fish again. They'll never get in another fishing tournament, though. Doesn't matter. So They've already won more money than anybody in the history of fishing tournaments. <laughs> I'll tell you, they got the nicest fishing boat on tour. I can tell you that. Yep. Tired, hey, we're tired, aren't we? I mean, they fucked over the entire sport. Okay, the integrity of the ponds mm -hmm. are now up in question forever. <laughs> Part of the ponds. Do you know how miserable being a fucking professional fisherman is? Now, they love oh, it. They love it, right? Love Th it. That's like... Yeah, that's like a group of people's golf. Like golf is yeah. one person's yes. thing, and then fish is the yeah. other. Like it's a, a way to spend time. It's a way to people really enjoy it. I fucking stink. I can't catch a goddamn fish. Same. I'm terrible at it. I don't have the patience. If I'm not successful early, I'm not going to be sitting here in fucking waiters freezing cold <laughs> for the next. How many hours are we doing this? Six fucking hours. I'm doing. No way. I've checked out early a lot of times on fishing, and I apologize for that. I think as I get older, maybe I'll get into it. If there's not much no, to do, I'll you be. Won't. No, you won't. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe fly, though. I heard fly is good no, action. Sure, you yeah. won't. I heard fly you is won't. good action. But I, heard... I mean, you, you like catching fish. Same with me. If I don't catch fish early, see ya. I'm out. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm not there for the fishing part. I'm there for the catching of the fish part. You know what I mean? I'm not looking and snooping around. But nonetheless, people are. They're, it's cold as shit. Early mornings, yeah, right? Yeah. Early there mornings, cold oh, yeah. as shit. These dudes are, that are participating in these tournaments, I assume that, that because of what the prize pools are, they have focused their entire lives on it. They're like, oh, I'm going to be a professional fucking fisherman. And they tell stories about old Jake, who's going to be a, a fucking professional fisherman. Hey, you remember Jake over there? Yeah, he's going to be a professional fisherman. That is hold, held in high regards, I assume, in a lot of different conversations. And then they never fucking win. These dudes, Jake has to go back to that group that has been talking about how proud they are of him, and he hasn't won a single tournament. He's like, oh, you got to be cheating here. Oh, fucking Jake's a bitch. Jake's, uh, Jake's making excuses. <laughs> Jake, they're, they're, they're fishing from the same fucking pond as you, Jake, or whatever. And if this is River, I apologize. Whatever the fuck else it could be, I apologize. But then Jake now goes, Lake. There, Lake? It was a Cleveland. It might be Erie. Yeah, Lake Erie. It was yeah. Lake Erie. Damn. Okay, so in the lake. So they're saying, yeah, they are actually waiting fish. The amount of anger that was probably coming out of a lot of those people we got to hear, and I think is all warranted. <laughs> With that being said, one year in jail, $2,500 oh, in oh. fines. They won twenty eight grand at that thing. I'm sure they didn't get their money because I believe the guy in the sandals who's who was the director has said, this fish feels fucking real short, real heavy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is how it normally feels. Give me a fucking knife. That's you annoying. think they got to put them in solitary? If they, when they go to jail, got to put them in solitary because the guys will beat them to death like Maybe. they're a dog. In Ohio? In Ohio? Yeah. There's a will. chance. You got to protect those guys. You might have to send them out somewhere out west or something. 
Smart, send him out to Colorado. Maybe as a cousin, you know, of one of the guys the who Supermax. he was competing against in the jail, too. No, jail hey, is the either. last of these guys' concerns, because guess what? When Bass, Bassmaster cha- uh, champion Kevin Van Dam finds out oh, about this, boy. whether they've been released from jail or whatever <laughs> they're doing, 2500 bucks on bail, he's going to shoot both these guys <laughs> in the back of the head and throw their fucking dead, lifeless carcasses into Lake Erie. Saw their heads off with a fishing line. Don't you fucking dare disrespect the Bassmaster Championship. That's the fucking walleye invitational on Lake Erie, okay? (laughs) People fucking care about this shit. This this grinds my gears. It really does. These guys, 12 months, they they should fucking put these guys in jail for, I want 20 to life. (laughs) Either that or let Kevin Van Dam fucking and be done with them. This is bullshit. So I did some research on the rules. So the walleye tournament here, uh, there basically isn't many. It's all like the honor system, essentially. The bass, the bass one though, there's a third party that videotapes everybody, all their boats. It's probably happened in another. Oh yeah. I'm assuming this is just like I honor system. They ain't the only ones out there. They said they were they they thought they were doing this before too. Like they there's been accusations against these guys before. Yeah, Yeah, but Darius, I think, is saying if it's the honor system and there's real money on the line. What Darius's yeah. natural inclination to think as a competitive human, which I think, you know, is, I literally, as I was telling the story, as I was unfolding it there, I saw somebody holding a fish like this that they pulled out of a fucking lake. Mm-hmm. I go, oh, that's probably a fucking winner, really. Well, we could yeah, really make it a winner. winner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, that's a natural thought somebody who's super competitive yeah. would have. Yeah, but... I, I don't know how he wouldn't. I, but with the honor system, I think Darius is saying this is probably happening a little bit more. Yeah. That was a lead ball. Yeah, <laughs> huge. Uh-huh. They weren't fucking... even trying to... They, they said the fish are wearing twice as much as they were supposed to. Like, it'd be a little more sneaky about We talked it, about though. pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered. If you would have just done go. the fish fillets, I think you might have been okay. <laughs> but as soon as you start throwing bowling balls inside of fishes... Well, hold on. Isn't there things that fish could eat? While they're swimming around? You would think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, just say plankton. Off the line. Not two-pound lead balls. What if he had, like, 30 yeah. worms in his stomach? I oh, ate all my fucking bait. Bro, he's yeah. just seen it. I fucking was working. He, he was strong. He's tough. He's a fucking champion. Yeah, what do you... I've already cooked up get another some, scheme yeah. how we win the next one. We get no, you no. out there on the boat. We get ZD all geared up in his scuba gear. He's underneath. He's got fish that pre-caught. He's throwing them up <laughs> into the boat. These are big ones. We catch these ahead of time. And So, oh. he... So my hook actually isn't a, a actual hook, like a metal hook. It's like a big plastic one. Yep. But it's real tight to the – we have a good uh, fishing line. I'm going to throw that thing out. Zeke's going to swim. He's going to grab that hook, right? <laughs> oh, he's yeah. going to bring it down right under, it. under the thing. He's going to undo the hook, and he's going to take the fish that we have out of the bag <laughs> – you're a giant fish. St- big, big boys. Like fucking big. swordfish yeah, out Maybe a sterling. And then he's going <laughs> yeah. to he's gonna put it in there, and then all of a sudden I'm going to, and then he's going to say, go, Bart. Go <laughs> and get. Go and get. <laughs> and Run. Boom. That's, that's a, you're, hey, keep your fucking eyes on it over there in those lakes. Be careful. You are allowed three lines in the water. In this, that's uh, why they have life. seven lead balls. I mean, how many extra lead balls are they flying around with? Good on these question. Things? This is bullshit, though. This is about respecting the game. You know, you say honor system. These fucking fishermen, they respect the game. They respect the sport. This is a, Again, we're talking about the fucking walleye championship on Lake Erie, okay? People come from miles and miles and miles around to fucking compete in this thing. Hell yeah. And these two fucking assholes are out here fucking just dumping lead balls into stomachs. Hey, how did nobody, you think, with yeah. those, all those Ohio folks, okay? I won't say the other word. I was really surprised, you know, and that's why I also thought it was fake, because, like, Ohio, you hear the words are coming out. Someone would have someone would have got him. Whoever stepped in tried to protect him, right? And Did you hear? Yeah, yeah the tournament director said, I want you out of here, and I don't want anyone touching him. <laughs> yeah, but then he went to turn, and I think somebody was like, no, 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 and then he turned right back. Because he actually did, if you show up, uh, I don't know how many seconds in, I would guess about Oof. maybe 20 seconds in, 15 seconds in. He goes to turn to leave, and then he turns right back into it. Yeah. And then the guy that said he wants everybody to be nice, he started putting on a show. Yeah. Look at this! Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yep. in front of a walleye fillet. I mean, I think he turned too. Whenever yeah, he, he, did, he definitely did. when he did that first cut and was like, these motherfuckers. You're right. Fuck you, dude. And I just thought. <laughs> Get him. It seemed like there was too much happening for that to be a real situation. It's 2022. Mm-hmm. It is planet Earth. Sure. There's absurd shit happening every single fucking day now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is just new normal. Mm-hmm. We're, we're not happy about it for the fishing community. We hope they get it sorted out. Clean fish only winner. Good luck, fish community. What if a fish and the person that catches the fish doesn't know it, 
What if the fisherman or fisher lady end up catching like um, a fish that just so happened to be a dumb fish and just like ate rocks? You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> and then pulls fish up, gets that, whoa, this is a fucking heavy. Oh. And they're like, whoa, this is going to be a winner. Look at how heavy this thing is. Fair game. Yeah. But then they, this fish, way too heavy for what it looks like. And they, <laughs> and then rocks dump out. And the guy, huh. I had no idea. Uh, he, was, he must have ate rock. Is that something that could happen? Dude? Too bad for that guy. Yeah, that, yeah. dead or lady. That you mean guy, a bottom feeder? You're, unlucky. you're talking unlucky. about bottom feeders. You're, you're talking about bottom feeders. Yeah. Carp. You're not doing no, carp. No, what if it's just a dumb walleye? What, what if this particular walleye isn't enough? Catfish or bottom it's feeders. A, disgusting it's a real features. question. I mean, this is a, the thing they're going to have what? to think about. This is a precedent now. You yeah. know, obviously, those, yeah. those lead balls impossible for the fish just to happen upon and accidentally go into the mouth of but what if there is a full fillet of a walleye yeah. floating around mm -hmm. you know and another <laughs> walleye finds it and just decides to eat it they're gonna have to start filming entrance must they have to have to have to entrance so must this is for the uh the rules for this tournament the sportsmanship is where like it comes down to the yep mm -hmm. entrance the must pits. conduct themselves in a true sportsman-like manner no exceptions you are expected to act with the highest degree of courtesy, honesty, and ethical behavior at all times. Remember, you not only represent yourselves, mm -hmm. but all tournament anglers and competitive fishermen. That's Nazi. what it's all about. Any unsportsmanlike behavior will lead to penalties <laughs> and possible disqualification from any and all LEWT tournaments. Any team receiving a citation for a violation in their boat from any law enforcement agency on the day of the tournament will be disqualified oh. for that tournament. Anyone receiving a citation or having any contact with law enforcement is required to notify the TD immediately. Okay, so that's just the sportsmanship part of the whole thing. Yeah. You can't be getting speeding uh, penalties out there either. No, 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 no. You have to abide by the rules of the water. At all times. Same speed. What is it? I see uh, cops on the lake that I live on. There's cops floating by. What, that's just buoying? All the, yeah. all Patrolling. The buoying. DNR. DNR? No wake zone. There's no wake zones usually, too. Probably oh, yeah. trying to pull people over for that. In the marinas. Is so, that what these people get pulled over for? Probably. So we have to also find out now. They do check their boat and equipment for everything. How do they sneak in these lead balls? Keister, no. Keister. Yeah. yeah. Is those the guys Ohio? I don't care. Super competitive, probably Keister. Just put it, it on the shoreline <laughs> anywhere. That's super easy. Yeah. Lake Erie is huge. Tallest bottom. True. Oh yeah, because you just go yeah. out. Yeah. Might have swallowed them themselves and pooped them out. True. Ooh. Ooh. Big yeah. gaping, gaping <laughs> holes on the other side of that one. I don't know if those are giving much. Oh, that's not soft serve. I mean, if they're if they're keistering these things or swallowing them and pulling them out out there on the lake. I, you might not have to put them in jail. You might have to crown them champ. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's dedication to the crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. All right, we've got everything out of this. I like I that. I think we got everything out of this. Yeah. We covered it, though. Competitive. Mm -hmm. These yeah. guys are competitive. We Sorry, don't like it, but we do think that it is set up as people that uh, have been around super competitive people mm -hmm. and have gotten a chance to compete in things. Seems like that is set up for failure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's set just up like for it's those Ohio folks. Just like big time golf outings that have a lot of money on the line. You don't expect mm. someone that, oh, maybe that 10 footer didn't go in. Yeah, that went in for sure. and the next hole, the next hole, the we're, next hole. The we're next not hole. asking you to be those people. No. We would actually wish that you wouldn't be those people. And in our fantasy world, we hope that those people never exist. When you're planning an event and you say honor, you expect those people not to be present. And we hope that one day our society becomes that. Now, I think our society would be a lot different if we didn't have the people that had the traits to go ahead and do that. I think they also probably, have. nonetheless, I don't know if we'll ever become a society that won't have those people. So we have to deal with reality, which is where we live here. People are going to be giving themselves eagles, uh -huh, okay? Sure. People are going to give themselves mulligans. Yeah. People are going to be shoving weights down the fish's <laughs> mouth oh, yeah. if they yeah. get an opportunity to do it and win $28,000. 28 grand on a weekend? Are you kidding me? Keep an eye out. That would be a lot. That's a lot of fucking money. They got to tighten up. All right, let's get to a break.